Hi guys, Steve Musa here. More than just a pen. Today's video, we are gonna be drawing Creed 2, the movie poster. I went and watched the movie, and let me just say, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. Oh my God! Oh my God! This brother came in correct. My guy was looking sharp. He was looking like King Kong. He was shredded to the bone. He, he just looked like a beast. Stay up. Put it this way, after the movie, I, I was like, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the gym. Even though I bought my gym bag, you know, prepared to go to the gym after, I wanted to go to the gym even more after watching this movie. So if you haven't seen it, I would suggest you go watch it. It's very predictable, of course, but the movie in general was just really good. I enjoyed it so much. But yeah, with this joint, I decided to start with the nose type of... When the face is like this angle, it's pretty difficult to get the accuracy. Um, but you just have to trust yourself and go with it and as you guys know I'm a very strange artist I don't pencil sketch or anything like that which is not normal but yeah this is like part of a tutorial that I'm trying to work on I'm doing a lot of black and white studies lately and this is one of them as you can see it looks a lot of layering a lot of pressure and yeah it's just it was just a lot of fun and I've decided to do a little voice over here trying to explain to you guys what I was doing and the dark parts is a lot of layering I don't press too hard as you can see I layer everything it's it's not like you press on hard one time to create this tone it's all about building it it's a process and that's probably the most difficult part about ballpoint pen it's very time consuming but you have to have patience you have to if you don't have patience it's not going to turn out clean the way you want it um, even if I spent more time on this drawing it probably would have turned out more and more clean the more time you spent on it you know if I took more care with the strokes and stuff like that to create these different tones different when it comes to the different tones it's all about pressure if you press too hard it's gonna come out dark if you press too light it's gonna come out light but me you guys know me I like to build up my joints I always talk to you guys about the Lego technique it's something I stress all the time when people ask me how do you draw freehand like this with no grid no sketching no nothing how do you do it I always say Lego technique I build up my drawing literally like I'm putting a piece of Lego things together you know little by little little by little little by little and all of a sudden I'll end up with a whole image but that's what I do you know and people are starting to understand it some people have practiced this and they've seen results to like okay I'm seeing my proportions are getting much better uh, with the shading though it's gonna take you time it's gonna take you a lot a lot of practice um, understanding it's gonna become mind, mind and muscle that like, has to be connected you know it's gonna become something that you, you just do automatically after a while but in the beginning it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because you know you're not used to creating all these light tones then going to dark tones automatic um, it takes a lot of practice but I'm sure you guys will get there again if you guys want to see me do this stuff live I am streaming on Twitch like all the time right now so this is the, probably the best time to catch me um, on Twitch because I've taken a vacation from work so I'm streaming like every day so if you ain't a part of my Twitch stream and you, you guys a lot of you do ask for like real time videos and stuff like that so you, you need to get on the stream to see me work live so you can actually understand how I do work you know and see it um, if you're waiting for an 8 hour tutorial video on YouTube good luck it's not gonna happen <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you it's not gonna happen I'm not putting no 8 hour tutorial video on YouTube no way so watching me live is probably your best option or being a patron on patreon and i'm guessing twitch is probably cheaper but yeah being a patron on patreon where i really go into depth on what i'm doing and everything like that but here with the drawing as well as you can see the white with the light light and the sweat and everything of him is all the paper that's why it's very important to understand how to create all these tones you know surrounding the white in order to make the white look like something else if that makes any sense so you really have to create these dark values the light values and understand that the shadows and stuff that you're creating around these white areas is what's gonna give off that sweat look or that light look um, it's very important it's a bit like what I did with my previous drawing of the the Star Wars guy what's his name, what's his name again Kylo Ren um, drawing where the lightsaber looked like it was shining but like I said in that one, it was just the paper. It's just all about understanding how you can manipulate. Bullpoint pen joins a lot of illusion stuff. It's a lot of trying to manipulate what people see, you know? That's the thing, when people see this like real close up, that's when they're like, oh my God, it's just a bunch of lines. But as you guys are seeing it through the lens right now, it seems like I must be doing some kind of magic. I don't know. But anyways, with the background, I decided to use my 
brush pens from Arteza, amazing, I love them, I love them, they're so good, these brush pens. If you would like to get yourself some, they are linked in the description. And yeah, I, I, I use them all the time for like backgrounds and stuff, they're really fun and I love them. But yeah, that was it for my video, here is the final image, I hope you guys enjoyed this little voiceover. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, if you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share and subscribe to DB's Up. that's me. I'll catch you lot in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you so much. I love you all. Peace.